Here we go again. It's hard to believe that six months ago I came to the Philippines and did all these extraordinary things that I didn't think I'd ever get a chance to do. Meet people that I didn't think I'd ever meet. And spend time with you, people who I never thought I'd ever get to see. Yeah, and it just seems to have come around so fast now, because I knew from sort of midway through the release of the last vlogs for season one, that I was going to be coming back. Um, it was just a case of when is the best time that would best suit me and my wife. So uh, we decided to book for May. So uh, obviously you guys, you know, this is now July, I think, when you're watching this, hopefully, um, if all goes to plan. So we've been and gone to the Philippines again, um, second time, uh, for season two. So over the next month or so, you'll have access to daily vlogs from our time in the Philippines, which I'm hoping you'll join us on this incredible second journey. We had so much to sort out because obviously on my first trip, um, I just went to Manila and it was just a case of, you know, trying to find lots of things that I could cram into those very short five days. Um, but this time around, we spend four weeks touring around the Philippines uh, check out the different islands, jumping in at all the activities that we can do, um, and here's what we got up to. To make sure this season is the best that it can be, I've upped the ante on production equipment to ensure that we have a cinematic style. The list includes a Panasonic VX870 4K camera, a Panasonic GH4, DJI Spark, Rode Video Micro, GoPros and mounts, lenses, Gorillapod, ND filters, a case of SD cards, a 30,000 milliamp portable charger, a lens cloth, a 2TB external hard drive, SD to USB adapter, and an 11 inch MacBook Air. Today we're actually on our way to get our travel jabs. Um, I should already be covered because I came to the Philippines last year. Um, but I'm just going to double check that and I'm just going to get her jabs as well. Anyway, as predicted, I didn't need any more jabs. I'm up to date, so that's all good. And uh, Rachel got her typhoid. So now we're heading to work to crack on with our day and uh, probably start planning what we're going to be doing like in terms of things to take with us, I guess, for the Philippines, because we're going to need some um, extra uh, tablets for like mosquito plugins. Just things like that, really, just to kind of get, stay a little bit protected and stuff while we're out there. And we've got about two weeks now, two and a half weeks until we go. Yeah, you just, you just stay there. You know, if you just moved over. Your dark side's coming out now. <laughs> Everyone's gonna see your road rage. <laughs> well, it's just stood there, right, like, right in the middle. Like, I don't like, get past you. Stay on your side of the road. Two weeks today we leave for London and then we head on a plane to Manila. I like the one on the right. That one. 
Oh, my eyes. <laughs> what you after? I normally hate shopping, but it's actually quite exciting because of obviously going away. You done? I'm close. <laughs> I want to get as many things as possible to try on and then pick from. I have to be conscious of the fact that we're not taking big suitcases, so we need to pack basically a week's worth of stuff. So I'm gonna take a look around here, see if there's anything I wanna buy. I'm in the wrong aisle. You think it'd be really weird walking around Asda, talking to a camera, and it is. What flavour is it? Kiwi, apple, apple, kiwi, and ginger. Yeah. You get a bit of barbe ginger at the end. That's quite nice. So guys, if you're a follower of me on Instagram, or Facebook or Twitter for that matter, um, you'll see I posted a picture with these glasses asking for your opinion. I took your advice, I bought them, and uh, thank you very much. So we've just got over a week to go now until we go to the Philippines, and I figured it'd be a good chance to try out our new backpacks. We bought them months ago, it is an Osprey 40 litre backpack, the exact mod number I'll put on screen now. Um, but it's pretty cool, it's got a lot of compartments here for laptops, um, smaller items, front pockets, and it's even got on the back proper rucksack straps. So you can carry it if you're on a big hike or if you're on a motorbike, which is kind of why I bought this one. It's also got usual handles and a side carry as well. So it's got plenty of options. Um, but yeah, so I've got 40 litres and I'm not even sure if this is big enough, if it's too big, too small. So I figured a week in advance, I'm gonna try packing this bag, stuffing it full of all the clothes I wanna take with me and seeing how it fares. I forgot to mention that we've also bought some packing cubes which would make things a little more easier to organize and stop our clothes falling about. So I'll have this size, a much bigger size. And again, I'll link these on the description for this video in case you're interested in buying some as well. It's supposed to help compress your clothes so you can fit more in it, but also I've found if it doesn't quite do that, because ultimately, you know, it's not a vacuum pack, but it does actually keep your clothes contained, so it does stop it falling about. And if you want to get to clothes or toiletries or something more specific, you haven't got to get everything out of your bag, you, can, you know exactly where things are. I think it's beginning to dawn on us just how much stuff we plan on taking and how little room we have in our bags. Oh, I've just got a wet nose on my lens. So with less than a week to our departure, we figured it'd be a good idea to get some training for motorcycling or mopedding, scootering. We're gonna get a bike and neither of us have rode before but our friends actually have a business running motorcycle courses so hopefully they'll keep us in good hands, stay professional and we'll be good to go. How are you getting on them, Rob? Really quite well. I'm quite impressed, actually. That's some of the best new new rider slope control I've ever seen. Wee! So today is departure day. Is there anything in particular that you're most looking forward to? I can't even remember what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> So we've arrived in Manila. 
And the first thing we've done is go straight to Jollibee. Oh, look who it is. 